Did you hear what happened with the shipping forecast the other day? Oh yes, I heard about that. They read out the same shipping forecast two days in a row, and nobody noticed. That's right. They predicted force nine winds on the one day, and then again on the Tuesday. Yes, apparently a large number of vessels stayed in port to avoid the storm because they thought it would last two days, but it only lasted one day. Still, it could have been worse. They might have read the same shipping forecast three days in a row before anyone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Did you hear what happened with the shipping forecast the other day? Oh yes, I heard about that. They read out the same shipping forecast two days in a row, and nobody noticed. That's right. They predicted force nine winds on the one day, and then again on the Tuesday. Yes, apparently a large number of vessels stayed in port to avoid the storm because they thought it would last two days, but it only lasted one day. Still, it could have been worse. They might have read the same shipping forecast three days in a row before anyone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh yes. Morning, Amelia. You're just the person I wanted to see. I've been doing the monthly check on the breathing apparatus sets, but I haven't finished yet. Now, I have to go and show the inspector around the ship. So, how much have you done so far? Well, here's the maintenance record. I've already tested the warning whistles, and I've checked the rubber and the sealing of all the face masks. Have you checked the sealing the pressures yet? Oh yeah, they all seem to be fine. I've done those three sets over there already, so you can start on the sets in this locker. Morning, Amelia. You're just the person I wanted to see. I've been doing the monthly check on the breathing apparatus sets, but I haven't finished yet. Now, I have to go and show the inspector around the ship. So, how much have you done so far? Well, here's the maintenance record. I've already tested the warning whistles, and I've checked the rubber and the sealing of all the face masks. Have you checked the sealing the pressures yet? Oh yeah, they all seem to be fine. I've done those three sets over there already, so you can start on the sets in this locker. This permit hasn't been completed properly. It looks like you did it quickly to me. I know you've got a lot of work to do, but you can't afford to take these kind of risks. You need to keep your mind on the job. No, I took time to do it, and it's nothing to do with my workload. I can manage that. I'm sorry, but I was up all night with toothache, so I'm really tired. In that case, you're in no fit state to be doing the job. You're more likely to make mistakes or have an accident. This permit hasn't been completed properly. It looks like you did it quickly to me. I know you've got a lot of work to do, but you can't afford to take these kind of risks. 
You need to keep your mind on the job. No, I took time to do it, and it's nothing to do with my workload. I can manage that. I'm sorry, but I was up all night with toothache, so I'm really tired. In that case, you're in no fit state to be doing the job. You're more likely to make mistakes or have an accident. Sir, I've just received a security call. There's a ship ten miles north of our present position. She's reporting a man overboard. Right. What help do they need? Uh, another ship has answered her call and is making its way to the scene of the incident now. All other vessels in the area are asked to be on standby to join in the search and rescue if necessary. Okay. Have we checked their current position? Yes, sir. Here it is. I figure we are about 40 minutes away. Sir, I've just received a security call. There's a ship 10 miles north of our present position. She's reporting a man overboard. Right. What help do they need? Uh, another ship has answered her call and is making its way to the scene of the incident now. All other vessels in the area are asked to be on standby to join in the search and rescue if necessary. Okay. Have we checked their current position? Yes, sir. Here it is. I figure we are about 40 minutes away. Hey, what are you doing with your hand? I'm rubbing some butter on this bun. What? But that's the worst thing you can do. It just holds in the heat. Oh, so, should I use some oil instead? Or bathe it with hot water? No, no, no. It's not a bad burn, so just hold it under cold running water. Hey. What are you doing with your hand? I'm rubbing some butter on this bun. What? But that's the worst thing you can do. It just holds in the heat. Oh, so, should I use some oil instead? Or bathe it with hot water? No, no, no. It's not a bad burn, so just hold it under cold running water. Did you hear what happened to that vessel last week? The one with the false documentation? Yes. I can't believe the master did that. He's certainly paying for it now. Yeah, they're pretty strict here. I reckon he'll be fined thousands of dollars and probably imprisoned for several years. What's the maximum punishment here again? It's $10,000 per violation and six months in prison. I actually worked with him about ten years ago when I was a third officer. Even at that time he had a grounding that resulted in an oil spill. He's trouble. Yes, well... He won't be getting into any more trouble for a long time. Did you hear what happened to that vessel last week? The one with the false documentation? Yes. I can't believe the master did that. He's certainly paying for it now. Yeah, they're pretty strict here. I reckon he'll be fined thousands of dollars and probably imprisoned for several years. What's the maximum punishment here again? 
It's $10,000 per violation and six months in prison. I actually worked with him about 10 years ago when I was a third officer. Even at that time, he had a grounding that resulted in an oil spill. He's trouble. Yes, well, he won't be getting into any more trouble for a long time. Hi, Borislav. Hello, Ron. I haven't seen you for ages. How are you? Have you got time for a coffee? I wish I could, but I'm in a hurry. Maybe we could meet on Friday? Oh, sorry. I can't then. I'm flying out to my ship tomorrow. I'm going to the office now to sign a four-month contract. All oh, right. So where's your ship now? She's in Amsterdam, offloading cargo. OK. Well, have a safe trip, and I'll see you when your contract finishes. Hi, Borislav. Hello, Ron. I haven't seen you for ages. How are you? Have you got time for a coffee? I wish I could, but I'm in a hurry. Maybe we could meet on Friday? Oh, sorry. I can't then. I'm flying out to my ship tomorrow. I'm going to the office now to sign a four-month contract. All right, so where's your ship now? She's in Amsterdam, offloading cargo. OK, well, have a safe trip, and I'll see you when your contract finishes. Okay, gentlemen, your vessel's going to be loading some heavy cargo tomorrow, and it's important that if you have any problems which might affect your work, that you tell us about them. Last month, a deckhand injured his ankle because he hadn't reported an earlier accident. As a result, he was sent to hospital and was off work for several weeks. So, if at any time you're hurt or injured at work, you must report the matter and complete an accident report. Okay, gentlemen, your vessel's going to be loading some heavy cargo tomorrow, and it's important that if you have any problems which might affect your work, that you tell us about them. Last month, a deckhand injured his ankle because he hadn't reported an earlier accident. As a result, he was sent to hospital and was off work for several weeks. So, if at any time you're hurt or injured at work, you must report the matter and complete an accident report. Uh, can I talk with you for a moment? Sure, what is it? 
I'm concerned about the delays we're experiencing with some of our suppliers. We're doing everything to get back on schedule. Uh, could you give me an approximate timeline? A number of deliveries are arriving tomorrow. Unfortunately, at this time of year, there are often problems. Uh, don't give me that stuff about weather conditions. Our clients are not going to accept that as an excuse. That's not the issue right now. I know we have some suppliers in China, but th their economy is pretty strong at the moment. What's the problem with our suppliers in California? Well, they're making cutbacks, which means reduced production. The summer is always problematic. Uh, can I talk with you for a moment? Sure. What is it? I'm concerned about the delays we're experiencing with some of our suppliers. We're doing everything to get back on schedule. Uh, could you give me an approximate timeline? A number of deliveries are arriving tomorrow. Unfortunately, at this time of year, there are often problems. Ah, uh, don't give me that stuff about weather conditions. Our clients are not going to accept that as an excuse. That's not the issue right now. I know we have some suppliers in China, but th their economy is pretty strong at the moment. What's the problem with our suppliers in California? Well, they're making cutbacks, which means reduced production. The summer is always problematic. Do you notice that new cadet during the drill? You mean how long he took to put on his immersion suit? Yep. I was timing him and he took about six and a half minutes. Yeah. Mind you, he's not the worst. Do you remember the cook who took more than ten minutes? How could I forget? I think that rating will get a bit of a shock when they remind him he needs to be able to don it in two minutes. Yeah, you get the impression it's the first time he's ever worn one. You really wonder just what they're teaching them these days, don't you? Did you notice that new cadet during the drill? You mean how long he took to put on his immersion suit? Yep. I was timing him and he took about six and a half minutes. Yeah. Mind you, he's not the worst. Do you remember the cook who took more than ten minutes? How could I forget? I think that rating will get a bit of a shock when they remind him he needs to be able to don it in two minutes. Yeah. You get the impression it's the first time he's ever worn one. You really wonder just what they're teaching them these days, don't you? You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now floating around in places like Hawaii, South America, and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago, and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now floating around in places like Hawaii, South America, and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago, and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying.
You've got a lot of different currencies there. What's that 50 note? That's a euro. And this 20 is a British pound note. Right. And what about that 100 note? That looks like a lot of money. <laughs> Not really. It's a Filipino peso. It's only worth a couple of dollars or so. You've got a lot of different currencies there. What's that 50 note? That's a euro. And this 20 is a British pound note. Right. And what about that 100 note? That looks like a lot of money. <laughs> Not really. It's a Filipino peso. It's only worth a couple of dollars or so. What's the wind speed now? It's 25 knots. And when did you last check the weather forecast? Half an hour ago. They're predicting it'll increase to 35 knots over the next six hours. How far are we from port? 45 nautical miles. ETA is 1325. What's the wind speed now? It's 25 knots. And when did you last check the weather forecast? Half an hour ago. They're predicting it'll increase to 35 knots over the next six hours. How far are we from port? 45 nautical miles. ETA is 1325. There's a lot of activity around here. Are those three skiffs over there? Do you think they could be pirates? I've been watching them. They're definitely fishermen. It's those two on the port side that look suspicious to me. I'm keeping a close eye on them. And there's some idiot in a lone yacht. He must be mad sailing in these dangerous waters. Anyway, I think we'll be all right. There's a group of four naval vessels taking part in an exercise in the area. We can call on them for help if we need to. There's a lot of activity around here. Are those three skiffs over there? Do you think they could be pirates? I've been watching them. They're definitely fishermen. It's those two on the port side that look suspicious to me. I'm keeping a close eye on them. And there's some idiot in a lone yacht. He must be mad sailing in these dangerous waters. Anyway, I think we'll be all right. There's a group of four naval vessels taking part in an exercise in the area. We can call on them for help if we need to. So, we've got TVs in hold number two and DVD players in hold number three. And what's in hold number four? We've got phones in there. Oh, I've just bought my son a drone. I said phones. The drones are in hold number one. OK, right. So, can you give me all the forms? Oh, damn. I must have left them in one of the holds. Do you know which one? I know I had them on me when I was in hold number one, four and two. So, I must have left them in number three. So, we've got TVs in hold number two and DVD players in hold number three. And what's in hold number four? We've got phones in there. Oh, I've just bought my son a drone. I said phones. The drones are in hold number one. OK, right. So, can you give me all the forms? Oh, damn. I must have left them in one of the holds. Do you know which one? I know I had them on me when I was in hold number one, four and two. So, I must have left them in number three.
Why doesn't he tell us if there's a problem? Why doesn't he tell us if there's a problem? Why have they changed the watchkeeping schedule? Why have they changed the watchkeeping schedule? Why is that watertight door open? Why is that watertight door open? Do we need to replace this with a new valve? Do we need to replace this with a new valve? How long have you been on watch keeping duty? How long have you been on watch keeping duty?
did you know that for every death there are approximately 3,100 near misses at sea? Did you know that for every death there are approximately 3,100 near misses at sea? Did you know that approximately 80% of marine pollution comes from the land? Did you know that approximately 80% of marine pollution comes from the land? Motor Tanker Odyssey, this is Bermuda Coast Guard. Advice, please change to VHF Channel 1-2. Over. Motor Tanker Odyssey, this is Bermuda Coast Guard. Advice, please change to VHF Channel 1-2. Over. Those shipping containers weigh 8,377 pounds. Those shipping containers weigh 8,377 pounds. Our cargo is 97,682 tonnes of crude oil. Our cargo is 97,682 tonnes of crude oil. 